pizza time. Um, I just don't know what to pick is really the issue here. So I'm gonna need y'all's help getting to the bottom of which pie, which pie I wanna select for my purposes today. I think we should start right at the top with special offers. We got the Fiesta Party set. That comes with a... <laughs> it's pretty crazy that the first word you, the first word you encounter <laughs> at Domino's is Fiesta. If you had if I had to list every every restaurant that I think of when I see the word Fiesta, Domino's would be pretty close pretty close to the end of the list. Um, we got the New Yorker set. We got super mix set we got the superstar set this is actually almost too much information to um process large and large let's let's get spread. these names are pretty wild um the thing is how are you actually in japan right now good question yeah that's japan out there um but Yeah, sorry, I know it's late in America, but here in Japan, it's only 6.24 p.m., so. All right, what do we get? Let's look at let's look at some individual pies. I think the only way we're going to make any progress here is if we start looking at individual pies. We got the Quattro Angus Beef. What are Papa John's? I don't think they have Papa John's in in Japan. So something they do at, uh, at Domino's in Japan that they don't do in America is instead of dividing up a pizza in like half and half, like half pepperoni, half cheese, they do this four way split <laughs> that is like, that is truly mad. So for the Quattro Angus beef, the four quadrants here, I'll just read them to you while you look at it. The quadrants are grilled Angus beef and egg, garlic, grilled garlic Angus beef bite, barbecue Angus beef and bacon, and then seven meats with Angus beef. They didn't even give that one much of a description because they just they, there's not even room for a, a paragraph. I want to read the. Here we go. Here's what I. Here's what I. <laughs> here's what I like to see, man. I want to see some shrimp tails coming off the surface of the pie. If you ever want to try surf and turf on a pizza, here you go. Topped with sizzling black tiger shrimp, tender kuroge wagyu beef, and juicy sirloin steak, this pizza is pure indulgence. Uh, yeah, so these are the four quadrants here. Garlic shrimp, wagyu beef, tiger, just non-garlic shrimp, I guess, and char-grilled beef with sirloin steak. And I, I know what you're thinking. That sounds expensive. This 23 centimeter pie, so about nine nine inches for the Americans watching, is gonna run you about $38. That's a $40 pizza pie for a, that's $40 for a nine inch pizza pie. <clears throat> and what's funny to me is that the large size pizza is 33 centimeters, which is like, I'm calculating it. 13 inches? That is like, it's like, it's, it's like a small pizza in America. So that is pricey. And it's also, not only is it expensive, it's insanely small. I honestly, if I wasn't streaming, I might get something pretty normal because that's what I'm in the mood for. Japanese people never order Domino's without coupons. Ah, interesting. That's good to know. Brooklyn Meatball. Enjoy this traditional Brooklyn recipe in the form of a pizza. <laughs> oh, what's up, Jaden? I wish you were here, dude. We could get 4 a.m. Domino's pizza. Um, all right. Baked potato and sausage is probably awesome. Because think about that. That's like a ham and potato and cheese situation. New Orleans barbecue chicken. I like these descriptions a lot. You got the a Philly cheesesteak pizza. Um, quattro, quattro Meat Max. 
Okay, they're not even, the Fiesta one, they don't even really give it a description. It's just taco meat, <laughs> avocado, tomatoes, cheddar sauce, parsley flakes, and tomato sauce. Yeah, look at those big old avocados on there. Um, it's so fucking crazy to me to be on a Domino's website and see the phrase meaty snow crab and crimson crab. <laughs> it's an essential pizza for seafood lovers. Quattro cheese and roll. Holy shit, I can't even pronounce this one. Jaden, you're in France right now, right? What does this say? Quattro camembert mifuyi? Mifuyi? Mifuyi. It's definitely some sort of fancy cheese, right? Milfi you. Okay. Me for ye. Me fui. Yo, what's up, Mustachioed Bear? What's up, Ghost? Alright, we got the crab gratin over here. The sweetness of the crab is balanced by the saltiness of the pancetta. Under a blanket of creamy, I'm gonna assume that says white sauce. And yeah, again, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking 35 bucks, baby. We're talking 35 big ones. So I don't really understand the categories here. We've got campaign pizza. I get that. That's like whatever their promotions are right now. Special value set. Again, makes sense. It's just a combo. The New Yorker zone. <clears throat> the big, that's huge size, double cheese, New York style crust. And then we've got Superstar. Pickup offer is now available. We've got American Classic, which all these cost 18 bucks minimum, but then it says... For pickup, one pizza for $8, but then it says pickup offer is not available, so I don't know what that means. Four happy, here's where it gets confusing. Four happy range, three happy range, two happy range, and one happy range. And it doesn't denote the number of toppings before you ask, or the number of quadrants. Because look at that, the Hawaiian one, that's more than one topping in the one happy range. This is four different quadrants in the one happy range. Is it just, just, is baked potato cl uh, classic in America? No. Plain pizza. Add any topping of your choice. The most basic way to order a pizza. <laughs> um, I So what I was going to get, honestly, is the one happy range quattro happy. That way I'm getting four different flavors. I don't really like pepperoni though, man. Get the expensive pizza, y'all are saying. If, if someone super chats me <laughs> the yen to buy the expensive stupid pizza. I don't even want the stupid pizza. I just want like a nice, like this is, this one sounds good to me. The, the Genovese, a rich basil based sauce with garlic adding, it, look, it's got just the right amount of pizzazz. This pizza, I mean, look, this pizza, not enough pizzazz. This pizza up here, you could argue slightly too much pizzazz. <laughs> I want just the right amount of pizzazz. And so, I mean, the, the move, I think, is to get... Wait, I got lost. Four happy range, one happy range. This way I'm getting four different types of pizza. I'm getting a little bit of that potato and sausage action that we are interested in. I'm getting um, the Genovese that I like. Wait a minute. It says tropical Genovese, American, and margarita. So which is which? That's American, obviously. That's margarita. That's tropical. Why does the Genovese quadrant have potato and ham on it? I thought Genovese was just this chill shit over here. Whatever. Let's just get it. Now here's here's where things get here's where things get complicated. Damn, that's a good pick though. Look at that. I don't know if y'all saw, I think I might have missed my opportunity to show you it because it only pops up once, but I got a pop-up. I'll just show you. Hold on. I took a screenshot. Upgrade your crust. Cheese inside the crust, 360 degrees. Cheddar cheese burst. Upgrade any pizza to cheddar cheese burst. Enjoy cheddar cheese with change crust for just a few more yen. Um, now, yeah, and you did, I thank you for noticing that, by the way. Uh, 
nerd from Denmark and Jenkins from the lands. Y'all notice that there is, a, in fact, a Steam animation on the pizza, which you gotta respect. So I think this looks pretty good. I think we'll get this. I wish I could customize it a little more. But what I can do, well, first of all, fuck this nine inch pizza thing. That's two bites. We're getting the largest pizza they'll sell me, which again, is not that big. I just wanna have pizza when I come home drunk later tonight. And then, holy shit. <laughs> we got pan pizza, hand tossed pizza, ultra crispy pizza, cheese burst pizza, cheddar cheese burst pizza, cheese and roll, super monkey ball cheese and roll which uses the, <laughs> the balance board. We got Mies and Triple Mies Uh, I mean, I want the cheddar cheese burst because Isabel, you're right, it's not that expensive. And it seems like you gotta get your money's worth on that. But I that's only because I saw a JPEG of it. I don't know what the fuck these other things are. Cheddar cheese burst. St Actually, I guess I can get descriptions for all of them. I mean, we know what hand tossed is, obviously. Dominus Standard Crust now better than ever. Even the edges are soft and chewy. Cool. Baked in a pan to make it crispy on the outside and doughy in the middle. Got it. Ultra crispy. More thin and more crispy new crust. This pizza is served in square slices. Cut method was changed to the round cut the same as a normal pizza. That Okay, which is it? Cheese burst. String cheese placed around the edge of a crust sprinkled with consomme parmesan seasoning. And then cheddar cheese crust is just that, but it's cheddar. We got cheese and roll. Plenty of mozzarella. Oh, wait, we've got, hold on. We've got a fucking, a, a board. We've got, I'm noticing now that we've got a vertical slice, no pun intended. We've got a cross section of the pie here. So that's what the cheese burst looks like. But then cheese and roll is actually more of a traditional stuffed crust is what it seems like. And also you'll note, they put special sprinkles on top. <laughs> I'm hoping it's either, I hope, I'm hoping for rainbow personally. Okay, Milfil, two layers of crust with camembert mixed cheese in between. Uh, and then what's triple? I think I can guess. I think I can guess. It's gonna look like a... Oh, there we go. It took a while to load that complicated JPEG. Oh shit, I missed a super chat. <laughs> Hayes donated $5, said pizza is delicious. Well, I'm gonna use that $5 to get the... Uh... I mean, what do you guys think? Cheddar cheese burst? Cheddar cheese burst, right? It's gonna burst all over the place. CCB. Yeah, everyone... CCB is right. Thank you. CCB. All right. Consensus seems to be CCB with the triple in in close second. I've actually had the, the mill fuel, like, the first time I came to Japan, and I remember it being not very noticeable. Now, there's a... The sections go... Special offers, uh, pizza menu, for one person. Now let's explore this area. This seems to be, <laughs> okay, pasta. We've got the rich cheese carbonara. Carbonara sauce with pancetta and black pepper, just the way it's supposed to be. We got spaghetti napoleana. With the cut sausages with mushrooms, onions, and parsley. We got the meat sauce pasta. This is crazy. Spaghetti and meat sauce. They really do got it all. And then, as if that wasn't enough, you scroll down a little bit. We got pizza sandwich. <laughs> we got pizza sandwich. Enjoy this traditional Brooklyn recipe in the form of a hot sub. Okay, we got Domino's Deluxe Pizza Sandwich. Margarita Pizza Sandwich. Giga... I think it's one of the boss battles in Super Smash Bros. Melee is Giga Meat Pizza Sandwich. It's meat, meat, meat. They're kind of cheap. Only five bucks for a whole pizza sandwich. How, you can't top that. That's less than a five dollar foot long. And look at the look at the variety you're getting. It's meat, meat, meat. Spicy pizza sandwich. That's probably good, honestly. Uh, Gorio Galbi pizza sandwich. Oh, but the prices are going up. This one's six fifty. Oh shit, somebody joined as a member. Malav Shah, thank you for joining. I'll use your, your member money to buy a pizza sandwich or something. Holy shit. Okay, I mean, I don't... Wait, I found a filter. Deep flavors. Meaty. Salami and sausage. By the way, I haven't put my address in yet, don't worry. 
uh, a gigabyte of meat. <laughs> exactly. Do the Goyo Galbi, that sounds like it slaps. I kind of agree. I kind of agree. Oh shit, they got fish and chips. I, I really was not expecting that. I knew about the pizza sandwiches, but they got loaded wedges. Holy shit. Whoa, pop up. Hold on, I don't want these spoilers. Let's look at these one at a time, baby. We got the loaded wedges. We got the fish and chips. We got the oven baked. I can't even read it because the JPEG's so on top. There we go. Oven baked potato wedges with ketchup. Oven baked potato wedges consomme. <clears throat> that, just in case you don't know what that is. Crispy oven baked potato wedges in consomme flavor. The Moorish taste keeps you going back for more. I can't. What is that? Hey Siri. Wait, no, not you. What does is, what is Moorish mean? The definition of the word Moorish is a style of architecture common in Spain from the 13th to 16th century. Well, there you go. Characterized by horseshoe-shaped arches. Okay. The so they, when they say the Moorish taste, they're talking about the horseshoe-shaped flavor. You know horseshoe theory in politics? It also applies to uh, umami and sweet flavors. Chili <coughs> wedges. What else you got? Oven baked potato wedges with butter sauce. We got chicken nuggets. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a lot of different chicken options here. Chicken nuggets, Japanese fried chicken, and fried chicken. <laughs> These are like, it's like three, it's like Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard over here. And then Mega Charizard is just the straight up. YouTube gave me free money to give you. What? Is that how that works? So here you go. You Thank you, Squirtle Squ Squatty. Get the nuggets. Okay, what do you guys think? Nuggets? You guys, why do you guys want me to get the crappy one, though? I feel like I should get either... I think I should get Japanese fried chicken. These succulent pieces of boneless chicken are our finest chicken item yet. I mean, they're saying it right there. Okay, two dollars. This guy donated two dollars and said nugs. I mean, how Moorish are they? <laughs> Will the Moorish taste keep me coming back for more? They got popcorn shrimp at Domino's in Japan, and they got buffalo wings. That's. I mean, I could get that anywhere. We're gonna get the Japanese fried chicken, like, because the fried chicken is tender and juicy with less fat. So it's presumably it's like a white meat. It opens. Okay, this is. Th these descriptions have been pretty well written. This one kind of lost me. It opened Juicy Wing Origin easily for eating and finished with salt and pepper. Can't help you. Don't know what you're trying to say to me. Uh, I think we got to go Japanese fried chicken just to keep it. Just to keep it 100. I think a small will do it. A small is going to be four pieces. That seems like plenty. This order is really... Oh, by the way, did I, did I miss another super chat? Oh, Rory Hayes gave me $4.99 and said YouTube also gave me money for you. I love you, dude. Big fan. Thank you so much, Rory. Um, this I guess that's why the number $4.99 keeps showing up, is because YouTube is giving people money for free super chats. Joke's on you, Steve Google. I'm turning all your free money. <laughs> S -s what? Saswata Mishra said you better buy those fish and chips for me. Zachary Scott joined us. This is crazy. I did not know YouTube was doing this promotion, but <clears throat> Sergey Brin is paying for my Japanese Domino's. <laughs> Uh, shout, shout out to Google, shout out to Alphabet. We got the green salad. We got the Caesar salad. I don't touch pine trees. I don't touch palm trees. Cho, cho, choregi salad. <clears throat> Authentic choregi salad with fragrant Korean seaweed. The rich taste is enhanced with the superb, superb, I don't know what. They got clam chowder. This is a red alert. We got Domino's Pizza clam chowder. This is not a drill. Thank you, Raiderhead, for the $2 of Super Chat money. Maybe they're only doing that in Europe. Also, I like that Kirby avatar. Um, corn potage. Perfect with pizzas or subs. All right. I mean, clam chowder would be funny. <laughs> Everyone's saying, please don't eat that. I think Japan is pretty good on their food health. Holy crap. Caitlin Stewart with 10 Canadian dollars saying, I have to get the loaded wedges. This is going to be $400 worth of <laughs> dominoes, but 
They're gonna have to get two different guys on mopeds to balance the order. Fuck. Okay. Minister <laughs> Ministroni. I keep like losing. I'm looking at the. Hi from Indonesia. We just got YouTube Premium a few days ago, but no super tight yet. Whoa! Arrow, five dollars. Hope this funds your next brother moment trip to Japan. Thank you. Shima Panic. We I'm hungry now, but it's sweet for me. Enjoy pizza for me. You guys are so sweet. Damn. This is, I mean, this is starting to add up. What do we, so what, what am I, I can't even keep it all in my head. Okay, let me look at these super chats and take these suggestions to heart. Loaded wedges. I mean, I have to get the loaded wedges because Caitlin, the JoJo, donated those 10 Canadian dollars. And those are worth, wait, are they worth more or less than American dollars? I don't know. Um... This is crazy. Now I get how people can survive off of IRL streaming. Oh, sorry, I zoned out and I scrolled right past the chicken platter, which comes with everything. I don't want that. That's too much food. That's too much food. Why does it look like banana chunks? It kind of does. It looks like a banana split. I'm, the thing about the YouTube in-app camera is that I can't really um, adjust like the focus or exposure. But I can adjust the thick shake. We got the Thick Shake Vanilla Chocolate Crunch. I love this logo. The, they're limited time only. These shakes from Domino's are the real deal. Handmade in store using just ice cream and milk. Bro. I mean, they're thick in all caps. Thick Shake. We got, the options are Vanilla Chocolate Crunch, Vanilla Chocolate Crunch with cream. Oh, whipped cream, I guess. That's really the difference there. We got real strawberry. We got real strawberry with cream. We got thick shake vanilla dream. We got thick shake vanilla dream with cream. <laughs> and then last but not least, there's two more. Thick shake rich chocolate, and I think you can guess, thick shake rich chocolate with cream and chalk sauce. Wow, that actually was a twist. Um, thank you to Spy Crabs for the six Canadian dollars. Uh, do I want cream with cream? Vanilla dream with cream? I think dream with cream. I'm ready for a cream. <laughs> I'm ready for a cream dream. <laughs> All right. Um, Spy crabs, you have you. I'm I'm. You're the one who bought me the vanilla. Well, do I want this because the name is funny, or do I want it because it will actually be good or interesting? Wait, hold on a second. I just saw a new word that I did not see before. Introducing Domino's traditional handcrafted thick shake. <laughs> It's a thick shake. It ain't no milkshake. It's a it's a thick shake. So then what are the limited time ones? I guess the limited time ones are the vanilla chocolate crunch. Bro, thick shake. Sounds like a Sounds like a song that I'd like to listen to. <laughs> okay, extra 2 bucks for those fish and chips. I guess I'm getting the fish and chips now because enough of you are cyberbullying me into buying it. Um what shake do we get, though? I guess the limited time one, because when am I ever going to have a chance to get that again? This is too much food for one man. Who wants to come over and eat these <laughs> milkshakes with me? Just kidding. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't dox me. Um, I gotta get the fish and chips, because the Euros are saying I gotta... Fuck. Jeff Wheaton says, you know, since you're getting all this food, you could probably drop the size of the pizza. That's a really good point. Uh, Rodrigo Henriquez says, I randomly got a free Super Chat. Get a thick one. All right, I got the thick one. Um, I sh I'm actually going to reduce the size of the pizza. Um, in, in part because it's going to be too much food and also because I want you guys to see how small these things really are. It's like way funnier. It's way funnier to show you how tiny these are, I think. All right. Fish and chips looks a bit small. It's okay. All right. Anything anything that we haven't seen yet? I think we've seen it all. I think we've seen it all here. Um, yeah, there is too many fucking options, man. I'm, I'm stunned. I'm floored. I'm going to, I'm going to OD. Oh, did I get your wedges? Oh, I got to get your wedges. I'm sorry. I'm like getting a stomach ache just thinking about loaded wedges. I'm, I'm going to eat one wedge and then throw the rest out the window. That does look pretty loaded. And let's find out what it's loaded with, because we don't, we don't really know. 
freshly baked potato wedges smothered in spicy taco meat and cheddar cheese. That's fucked up. That doesn't sound that good to me. All right, so let's look at our... Let's look at our list here. We got the Quattro Happy, size M, cheddar cheese burst style. That sounds like a fighting game attack. We got Thick Shake Vanilla Chocolate Crunch with cream. We've got the loaded wedges that I just, there they are. And Japanese fried chicken. And then what, I feel like there's one that, <laughs> I feel like there's one thing that one of you made me, oh, I don't want to get the fish and chips, man. Did anyone, did anyone donating, like, yeah, I guess I have to get the fish and chips. By the way, I, if you spam the same message over over in the chat, uh, I think my moderators will likely place you in a temporary timeout state. Nothing personal. That's just how it goes. Um, okay, we're getting the, we're getting the fish and chips. Uh, this is going to feed me for the next three days in Japan. I'm just going to. I'm just gonna fucking. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna live with it. I think. Corn potage. All right. So the the grand total. The grand total is drum roll please, three thousand six hundred and seventy yen. The tax. Uh, so they just changed the sales tax in Japan from eight percent to ten percent. Um, although I'm not seeing that reflected here. Well, actually, hold on. Products that are subject to the 10% also have their consumption tax calculated at 8%. The corresponding 2 This is the best English on the whole website. The corresponding 2% gap is marched down from the product's price, so no difference arises in the price you pay. For the official consumption tax breakdown, please refer to the receipt attached to the product. Will do. Yeah, you know what? That's not that bad. I, I think making the pizza a size small instead of a size large... Um, Probably helped. While I'm in Japan, um, no comment. I can't, I can't say that without spoiling some future content. So I will, I will opt out of it. All right. Now I've got to put my address in here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you guys outside. And you can, we can enjoy the Tokyo cityscape. It's not the nicest view, but do 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 do. I'll, I'll come with you. I'll come with you out here. I gotta bring my pocket Wi-Fi out here too, so that... All right, let me move this around a little bit. Look at that beautiful building. Let me, let me pinch the zoom here. All righty. Now I'm gonna go get my laptop, and we're gonna, we're gonna pull the trigger on this pizza pie together. This way I'll be able to pull up the chat on my laptop so I can actually see what you guys are saying, which will be fun. Trying to read the chat on the phone while you're streaming is like very hard. So if I missed any of your wonderful messages, <clears throat> that's my excuse. Ooh. <clears throat> Alrighty. Ooh, it's a little cold out here. YouTube.com. I don't know that honey would help in Japan. I've seen a few people mention the honey extension. I'm not... I, wow, there's 500 people watching. Holy shit. Um, I'm not convinced that honey would be useful in this country. I don't know that it's... But I, but I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe it, maybe it would. All right, I've got, the, I've got the chat up here. I don't think I could eat all of it. Last time I ordered Domino's in Japan, I... Uh, it was like a few trips ago. It was the time that I went to Domino's headquarters. I ordered Domino's that night and it was me and, and my girlfriend at the time ordered, I think like a medium Domino's pizza and some type of chicken nugget. And we were definitely still hungry afterwards. <laughs> and she was like small, like she was like a, like she's, she's, she gets full pretty quick and it was, it was not enough for the two of us. So I, you can easily spend 40 bucks 
at a uh, at Domino's Japan and not get a <laughs> full meal, but I don't think that's the case tonight. I think we the variety is gonna make up for it. All right, let me pull up my address here. I want to get it just right. Japanese addresses are weird, dude. They're like... I don't totally understand them. It's very hard. Is this a corporate order? No. Do you require a receipt? Yes. Recipients. They're gonna poison my pizza when they find out that it's me. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, I think I figured out where the address goes. That's the building number there? Okay. Um, let me Google Translate this. I'm not gonna say the address out loud, don't worry. How is Japan this time of year? It's just starting to get cold. Um, it's like just barely beginning to get cold. Uh, any, any special requests for us? No pepperoni. <laughs> That's not gonna work. <laughs> but I'm trying. All right, I have to accept the terms of use. How would you like to pay? Let's try using a credit card. Do you get sauces with Japanese Domino's? I don't think so. <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. What time is it in Japan? It's almost 7 p.m. Selected pizza time ASAP. <laughs> The Caucasian says, any special requests? Subscribe to Nick Robinson. Yeah, that's what I should have put in there, but I already clicked submit. Uh, Ripknot says, can we get a playlist link? Yeah, this is um, all music by Car Painter, my favorite musician. This is the album Declare Victory by Car Painter. Uh, do you stay with friends when you're there or just Airbnb? Um, I usually just Airbnb. A mix of Airbnb and hotels. I move around a lot. Um, oh shit. We got the pizza tracker, y'all. Wait, hold on, let me... The pizza tracker is round here. We are currently in the order quadrant of the pizza tracker. It's a GPS-based one, so we're gonna be able to track... Well, maybe you won't be able to. But I'm gonna be able to via satellite, watch my little scooter man bring me my pizza. Make sure you give leftovers to the Pokemon Sword Shield community who can't eat their favorite Pokemon. <laughs> thank you, and thank you for the super chat. Yeah, man, I'm starting to regret standing up for Pokemon Sword and Shield. I mean, I, I, I agree, I, I still stand by what I said about how complaining about those animations was silly. Like, in, in and of itself, them reusing a backflip animation is not a big deal. However, the fact that that game has so many Pokemon cut from it and also does not appear to be an improvement in any meaningful way is a bummer to me. I don't think that they just copied and pasted a whole game, right? I don't think that they... There's nuance to it. I think it's disappointing, but not because they reused animations. I think it's disappointing because Game Freak is a bad video game developer <laughs> and it looks like an up 3DS game, and that's not what I wanted from the first console Pokemon. So that's my... <clears throat> That's my nuanced Pokemon opinion. I'm gonna grab my jacket because it's cold out here.
<clears throat> this isn't Twitch, so I'm allowed to drink, right? YouTube has its own laws. All right, let me... I've got the... Uh, this is a new seasonal flavor that came out about a week ago. It's the Peach Strong Zero. If y'all know what Strong Zero is, I'll be happy to teach you. Strong Zero... Uh, let me show you. Am I going to the Digimon store? Is that real? Is there really a Digimon store? Hold on. Hey guys. I'm wearing some layers. So Strong Zero, I can't really see my own screen here because of how I set this up. Strong Zero is a, imagine a mix of a Four loco and a Diet Coke, like a Diet Fanta. That's what Strong Zero is. So it's a zero calorie, zero carb, insanely strong alcoholic beverage. So this one is 9% alcohol and there's a lot of it and it's very cheap. Hold on, let me try switching here. Also, I gotta keep my eyes on this GPS tracker, baby. <clears throat> Whew, I don't think I could get, well, depends on how fast. Oh, Facts Man says, just tuning in here, please tell me you ordered a Quattro Formaggio with honey on top. Of all the bizarre ass pizzas in Japan, it's the only acceptable one and tastes legit good. We didn't see that option, Facts Man, but that sounds delicious. All right, Chilto Mate. Chilto fucking Mate. Let me rotate this bitch. Let me... There we go. Uh, does, does Strong Zero always come in 9%? Str Strong Zero does, but there's a lot of alcoholic beverages here that vary. I've got a lot in my fridge right now, but I don't want to show you because it's kind of shameful. Me and me and Maru, after we tried to play that Wii last night, went to the Combini and bought like seven drinks and then we drank one each and then immediately fell asleep. Um, but They've got, I actually bought something last night that I'm, I'm too scared to drink. It, there was a 12, I bought a 12%, like Strong Zero is a nine, and if Strong Zero can fuck you up, there's a 12% alcohol canned drink that I saw that I'm scared to, um, scared to buy. Spy Crab says, no pizza places should sell a quad pizza. Half pizzas are already annoying to make. Well, you know what's interesting? Is that um, there's no customization of it, and maybe that makes it easier. Like, maybe they're pre-made or something. Yeah, 12% alcohol. Isn't that crazy? So that's 24 proof. Guys, I've got an update for you. According to the pizza tracker, hold on. The pizza is in the oven. I repeat, the pizza is in the oven. Looks like the GPS driver tracker only applies for the last quadrant there. But. By the way, did you see the new YouTube rules? I did, they don't seem like there was any meaning, I mean, maybe I missed something, but I read them and it didn't seem like there was a meaningful change. Is there? Did I miss something? What was the mystery deal quadrant? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even notice that, you're right. At the out of oven quadrant, there's a thing that says mystery deal. So we'll, um, we'll click on that when we get to it. Um, Alexander says, everyone should at some point experience a night out in Japan where you just walk around and hit different kombinis with a group of friends. It's the best. That was what I did last night. I mean, it was really fun. Um, damn, it's like wine. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. 12%. My mental math is like, 12% is wine. So it's like a tall boy full of just wine. That'll knock you on your ass, man. Hypno Beagle says, really, bruh? It's like 2 p.m. Dude, 
I'm in a different country than you. <laughs> it's 7 p.m. I'm allowed to drink at 7 p.m. on a Friday. Mister. What happened to Nama Sensei? He's still kicking. I I caught I, I still talk to Jeremy sometimes. He's still around. Play some Hatsune Miku Vocaloid tracks and play the good ones, by the way. Please do it. I don't want to get content ID, so I'm not playing any Miku stuff. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see. They're usually pretty quick, so I think the pizza should get here relatively shortly. Um, it's like wine, but it goes down super easy. Yeah, yeah, it is. The thing about a strong zero is it's the same thing that's true of, oh, the pizza tracker just moved again. We are at, we are at halfway full, I'll show you. Halfway, baby. Um, damn, this thing's changing colors. She's purple now, what the fuck? <clears throat> damn, so many good questions. Have I ever slurped Everclear? I have, man. I'm from North Carolina. Of course I've had Everclear. I've had Moonshine. The last, the last thing that, I remember when I first drank Moonshine, the last thing that the person who handed it to me, they handed it to me in a glass, it was like real actual Moonshine, not like bottled store-bought Yankee Moonshine. And the last thing that the guy said to me when he handed me the, the glass cup, the mason jar with a, <clears throat> with a moonshine in it was, there's a chance this will make you go blind. <laughs> um, but I did not go blind. Is Tracker Tracks cool people playing their stuff? Yeah, I've talked to them about it. They're chill with it. Am I actually in Tokyo or are you scamming us? That would be an incredible scam. But no, I'm here. This, this ain't no green screen shit. RGB lighting for building. Yeah, this is the new Razer building. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty expensive. It's got some some cherry red switches in it. Um, it costs about fifteen million dollars. I think I'm underestimating it. Actually, I'm a bad estimator. Um, the song. You want the song ID? I got you. It's <clears throat> Mission Accepted by Car Painter. This building is pretty new, and they actually, you, I don't know if you can tell from this camera, but they just opened up like a area up there where you can, like a glass floored area where you can stand on top of it. I want to check it out before I leave. I just, um, <clears throat> I just bought my ticket back to America, and I'm pretty, <laughs> honestly, it was, it made me sad. I did not expect for it to bum me out as much as it did, um, but I'm going back to America next week. Can you go there? Yeah. See that tower? You can climb it. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Out of oven. We are out of oven. But where's the mystery prize? That's the real question. Give me that mystery prize. Hold on. Let me make sure that I can get this mystery prize shit without... I'm scrolling. I found it. Log in to play Mystery Deal. Enter to win a coupon worth 50% off. Win big when the pizza tracker shows that your order is out of the oven. Well, I guess I gotta make an account now. I got no choice. <clears throat> Our shit's out of the oven, though, boys. It's coming. And I'm making a dumb... It's kind of weird that I don't have a Domino's Japan account already. You know? SMH. All right, I'm saving this. Yeah, send me the special offers. Normally I uncheck the send me special offers thing, but I'm down to get emails about whatever fucked up Japanese pizzas are on the way. <clears throat> Wait, Mike is... All right, let's see. The drum beat is from the Matrix soundtrack? I don't think it is. Well, it might be like... Hold on, I've mean, got special characters in here that I need to change. Symbols. They did not like my password. Boom. King Potato says I'm in northern Japan right now. That's crazy. Who would have thunk it? Mystery prize isn't gotcha. 
I like that. It, like, I, like he shows up with an actual gotcha pawn machine. <clears throat> oh, is, are you getting a lot of wind? Maybe the laptop was blocking it. I'm down to move inside, actually. It's getting pretty, pretty cold. Misawa, Japan. What's the least smooth alcoholic drink you've ever had? Uh, in Japan? I don't know. Oh, I actually have a good answer for this. Hold on. Let me move inside so you can hear the wind. I don't want the wind to say goodbye to this beautiful cityscape, city skylines. <clears throat> Sound audio quality is about to get a lot better. There we go. <clears throat> is there vegan food here? No. Basically, no. It's, it's almost any dietary restriction is insanely hard to do in Japan. Like, even vegetarianism is pretty tough. Anyways, what was the question? Um, what pizza did I get? Let me write it down for you. I guess some people just got here because they weren't here for the ordering process. Let's see. First, I want to sign up. For Domino's. And then I'll show you my order. It says, please confirm your password, but I just did. Why is Domino's cyberbullying me? Let me live. All right, whatever. I got it. Let's see. Oh yeah, least smooth alcoholic drink I've ever had. Uh, easy. Uh, there's a, there's like a fried food restaurant called um, Tanaka. And at, at the at this fried food restaurant, there's like a tiny bell you can ring. And when you hit the bell, they bring you a bowl full of plastic, like the plastic fish that soy sauce comes in, but it's full of tequila. So it's like, it's like 89 yen, I think. And you get enough tequila to where you can't there's no way you're gonna get drunk from it. It's just enough to remind you how gross tequila tastes. You guys like this reflection, by the way? I did the same thing with um, when I was at that coffee shop and y'all liked it. Damn, the, my light bulb lining up at the top of the tower makes it look like some sort of hell building. Okay, let's see. Let me check the GPS here. Wow, it's like actually connecting to him. There's like three dots telling me it's connecting. Oh yeah, so an important thing to note about Strong Zero, um, but just like any diet beverage, you wanna drink it fast because as it gets warm, it gets way grosser. And when you combine that with a lot of alcohol, it's really not a position you wanna be in. Right, I want that GPS. Holy shit. We're locating your driver's GPS signal. This might take a few minutes. Your delivery driver's name is, and then it's two kanji that I can't read. I'm gonna translate it. Our delivery driver's name is... Tanahashi. Tanahashi. Let, me, let, me, let me run that back one time. Tanahashi. 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 Does the pizza actually have boiled eggs on it? Yes, but the one that we ordered does not. Now, are you going to accept the delivery by speaking in Japanese? Uh, I can't speak Japanese, so no. While you read... Whoa, holy fuck! Holy fuck! 
Whilst you wait, read some fun facts about Tanahashi. Favorite music, J-pop. Favorite pizza. Let's find out what his favorite pizza is. His favorite pizza is... Domino Deraxu. Domino Deraxu. So the Domino's Deluxe is his favorite pizza. Domino Deraxu. What else can we learn about him? Favorite sports team. Saka. His favorite sports team is soccer. <laughs> Damn, shout out to, to our boy. Shout out to the young homie Tanahashi. Tanahashi. My favorite sports team is basketball. <laughs> There's a customer poll they want me to fill out. The question is... Pizza no pizza de tsukate hoshi shoku zai wa. What ingredients do you want to use for Domino's pizza? So basically, what what ingredients do I want them to have in the future at Domino's? Four options: Angus cattle, Alaska salmon, <laughs> raw ham, so just straight up a raw pig. Or corned beef. Angus cattle, Alaska salmon, raw ham, or corned beef. I'm going to go with Alaska salmon. Oh, Saswata Mishra gave me extra five bucks for ordering fish and chips. Thank you. And thank you, Shaka Wolf, for the <laughs> have a five super chat. Um, so wait, you guys, raw ham or salmon? What do you think? Salmon pizza does sound dope. I might, I mean, well, the GPS just loaded, so let's see how how close our boy is to us. I'm going to have to zoom out here. I included a little bit of footage of the, uh, where is he? I can't see him. Oh, shit, there he is. Okay, he's about nine minutes away by moped. Um, if you guys are good, I'll bring you down to meet him. What is corned beef? It's like a British thing, right? The ham is raw. I'm voting for salmon. Sorry, guys. I gotta follow my heart here. Uh, hey, we got the results. With 15% of the votes, corned beef is in last place. With and the winner, I'm just gonna tell you what the winner was because it already went away. The winner is raw ham. <laughs> raw ham is winning the poll. They've got another question for us here. Question number two. What? Japanese quiz. Y'all tell me what this says. Which movie series do you think is best? Oh boy, he's getting close. Uh, ooh, there's three options that I can fill in the blank. Tell me what I should fill in the blank with. The options are... Star Wars, Back to the Future, Harry Potter. Star Wars? <laughs> Domino's in America would never ask me what I like more, Star Wars, Back to the Future, or Harry Potter. A Million Beasts has interviewed Tanahashi or Riot. I don't think me and him speak the same language, but... Star Wars, Harry Potter. Let's get that one more time. Star Wars, Back to the Future, Harry Potter. Star Wars... Back to the future, Harry Potter. I kind of want someone to sample that for like a rap song. That would go hard. I mean, I can also fill in my own option here. What movies do I like? I thought Joker was pretty good. <laughs> Joker. There we go. That's my answer. Custom answer. Other, so the winner with 37% of the votes is actually Back to the Future, which tells you a lot about the demographic of people who order dominoes and then answer the questions. Robert Paula says, do we love Tanahashi? Yes, we do. I guess you're right. That's not really a series. I guess my, the answer was not in the spirit of the question. I did just kind of want to hear the robot lady say Joker. Um, give Tanahashi some extra cash. So, glad you brought that up. Um, there is no tipping in Japan. If I gave him the money, 
and ran away, he would chase me down on the moped to give me the money back. Um, it ain't, that would not work. <laughs> Video games are dead and Google Plus is stupid. Did a super chat saying interview Tanahashi or Riot. I mean, I'll go get my pizza from him. Ooh, wait, where's he going? Okay, he's going, all right, he's going, he's booking it. He's, he's making good time. The problem is he's got to get, he's got to get through a pretty busy part of Shibuya on a Friday night. Tip Tanahashi and see how long you can last, says Princessa Matifina. Yeah, it's like, you know those videos where the guys will like, activate a one-up mushroom in Mario 64 and then it'll chase them and they'll try to run from the level as long as possible not getting caught by it. That's what it would be like if I gave Tanahashi a tip and then ran away. <laughs> That's what would happen. Arnie says, I can't wait for another vid about Driver SF. I, so, I mean, I could do... I have one small video I could do about Driver SF. But I just am so... I don't know if y'all are tired of me talking about it. And a part of me is ready to move on to a new subject matter. And I have so many other half-finished videos right now that I'm like, I don't think, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I, should I leave Driver San Francisco alone for a little, little bit? Or basically, I've got, we love Driver. We love you. Talk about it if you ever will. Finish this Driver and move on. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting ideas. If you do it, we'll like it. You guys are so sweet. I got the best fucking commenters on earth. I don't know why people say YouTube comments are bad. I love YouTube comments. Let's see. Give Tanahashi a drink as a tip. I don't want Tanahashi to get in a strong zero fuel to drunk driving scooter accident. I'm going to see that on the news tomorrow. You guys, while we, while we wait, do you want to watch some TV? I wonder if I could get content ID for showing Japanese television. Choto mate. Choto fucking mate. This is a new activity that they have where you chase your friends around a warehouse in a drone in, with drones and they try to tag you with the drone. All right, we get it. Holy fuck. Boom, 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 boom. God damn. Hey, hey, hey. Who? Shit. Fuck. NHK.jp slash edance, baby. That's my homepage. We getting it. Shit. Damn, am I supposed to be dancing along with it? Look at my reflection. Nyasu! Boom. That song kicked ass. Oh, fuck, it's hip hop dancing time, bitch. We in the. Ooh, he getting it! Ooh, shit! Hey, hey, question mark dance. He's killed. Nan, nan do kurai. Okay, now he's four minutes away. At a certain, I went, once it gets pretty close, I'm just gonna, okay, it says two minutes. I should probably go downstairs, huh? If I keep changing the channel, they can't content ID me. You'll never catch me, cops. Uh-oh. The cops got me. Home Shopping Network, baby. <laughs> Alright, y'all, we're going downstairs. 
This is, this is Tanahashi's theme, this song. We're finally gonna meet after e-dating for so many years. Gotta snag this pocket Wi-Fi. This song is making me emotional. Tanahashi's theme, bro. I'm gonna do a piano cover of this. I'm gonna learn to play piano and then I'm gonna start uploading covers of Tanahashi's theme. He's one minute away, we gotta go. Wait a minute, do I have my keys? Yes. Bro, that's Tanahashi, bro. Sign? Uh, oh, thank you. Ah, thank you so much. Uh, oh, receipt? Receipt, receipt. Receipt, yes. Okay. Thank you so much. You. Have a good night, Tanahashi. Oh, shake. Yes. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Tanahashi. Thank you. I almost forgot the, the thick shake. Damn. I'm looking out for your boy. Okay. This is, this is kind of a lot of food. Damn, he came back for me. Tanahashi saved the thick shake. My hero. My hero pizza demia. All right. Damn. Imagine if we realized that there was no shake. And he has no way to contact me because I don't have a Japanese phone number. Oof. Oh, the fork is for probably for the loaded, loaded, whatever. <laughs> this is too much food, homie. I'm gonna OD. I'm gonna over Domino's. Tanahashi gets to be a mod on my channel now. I thought about telling, by the way, we might lose reception when I go in the elevator, but just stay tuned. I'll reappear shortly. Okay. Oh my God. Almost looks like Brickomizer is gonna appear in this window. Very, very cursed. Hey guys, Tanahashi's theme. This is the Tanahashi good end song. <laughs> this plays when you get the good route with Tanahashi where you, you do all the quick time events and you get the thick shake. Um, Song. 
Tanahashi's here. Tanahashi's here. Tanahashi, the pizza man. I'm setting up a pizza cam to enjoy what Tanahashi brought me. Different pizza pies. All sorts of bullshit that I paid for with Super Chat money that I'm going to forget to take out of my YouTube account. And it's just basically like I'm buying it. Tanahashi. Tanahashi. Just do a cover of this song. I think finding this song will be impossible. As somebody who's tried to Shazam a lot of 7-Eleven music, it, it kind of can't be done. Tanahashi. That melody kind of... By the way, how did you hold all this at once? At once? It, it, I think it looks bigger than it is. <laughs> Like, let me just give, oh, fuck. Oh, thick shake. Oh, damn. Close, close one. All right, let me get in. Let me get the camera in here tight. Do, 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 do. Can I Shazam it? I mean, I can try. Shout the fucking mate here. The problem with Shazamming it is that I'm using, hold on. Do 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 Cause my I can't Shazam with my phone because I'm using it to stream, so Yeah, see? I'll try once again for luck, but Alright. Hungry to be better. This is so inspirational. Make hungry to be better, make your pizza life hotter <laughs> and fresher. Make your pizza life hotter and fresher. Tanahashi might not be in this box, but his love is. And that's what matters. Are right, you guys ready to see the, a small pizza? Remember that this pizza... Actually, it wasn't that expensive. Drum roll, please. What a cute box, by the way. That's a chaotic pizza. We've got... One, two... I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slices. Each... In every two slices, there's a new flavor. That is a quattro pie, baby. I'm gonna have to look at my, like, fucking, the receipt that Tanahashi slipped me, because I done forgot what all these flavors are. Oh, is the internet being shitty? Let me grab my pocket Wi-Fi. It's, like, in my jacket over here. Hey, holy shit, good point. Good point, Yakon. Yakon points out that they did, they did no pepperoni, just like I asked. Also, I was wondering why there's this crazy rim of orange around it, and then I remember that we asked for the cheddar guzzlers, <laughs> cheddar blasters, cheddar bus. We got the cheddar blaster deluxe, and that's what that rim is. That's the blaster's rim. The blaster's rim also is um, the area in Mass Effect where... Zorfod Beeblebrox comes from. It's a special galaxy that only I know about. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, Tanashi probably, knowing Tanashi, Tanahashi, he probably pulled those pepperonis off by hand. Dun, 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 dun. Let, me, let me remember what all's in this because people are asking me what's in the tiny boxes. I plumb forgot. All right. Okay, here we go. The Quattro Happy. Let me Google that shit. So I already forgot what is in the Quattro Happy. Let me, let me, let me pull in nice and tight for an up close shot here. Chilto fucking mate. There we go. I can even get closer, frankly. What time is it? I gotta get out of here at like. There we go. 
This is the Tanahashi Lovers Deluxe. I hope he never sees this. What a creepy ass video. <laughs> All right. This music rules. This fucking Weather Channel post rock. Are you kidding me? Explosions in the sky is both a weather forecast and <laughs> the band who made this, practically. All right. Um. Bum, 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 bum. So we've got the handcrafted premium thick shake here. This music might be a little loud. I feel like I'm yelling. Handcrafted premium thick shake. This ankle's also kind of crazy too. Let me tighten this up. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Don't I have a table? <laughs> Not really. The apartments are pretty small here. All right, so the the quadrants of the quattro happy that we got we got to contend with here. Damn, thank you crazy mud man. I'll 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 let I'll give Tanahashi your regards. So tr we got tropical, which is obviously the pineapple and ham one here. We've got the margarita, which is a sort of tomato mozzarella one with all that shitload of basil on it. Over here with the potato is actually the Genovese. And then we've got just straight margarita, which I think normally comes with pepperoni, but I asked for no pepperoni. So they treated me respectfully. This is the most hilarious. <laughs> Look at this. Have you ever seen a slice of pizza this small? This is a Barbie pizza. This is not a pizza for a human man. That is a hilarious fucking... That is one, one third of a slice of bread. <laughs> Why is it? Yeah, easy bake oven pizza. <laughs> it's so cute. Holy shit. All right, Choto fucking Mate. We got to eat this pie. Mmm. I'm sorry the music turned off. Now you have to hear me chewing. So what was the modification we got, though, <laughs> for this tiny pizza? Um, cheddar cheese burst. So there's cheddar cheese bursting outside of, out of the crust here. Can I put a one yen coin for scale? I kind of don't want to touch any filthy money while I'm eating. Mmm. <laughs> How much did I pay for it all? Well, nothing, thanks to you, beautiful folks. But the actual answer is, uh, 3,670 yen. Anpan Man is on the TV. Ooh, that, you know, that, that cheddar blasted crust is pretty good. Hmm. What's up, Thomas? My boy. My number one lad. It is, NNN Ready says that's fucking expensive. It is. That's $36 for a pizza the size of a, like, toy car steering wheel. Is it very filling? Looks really small. Well, no, but that's why you bastards made me buy all this other ridiculous horse shit. What do we do next? You guys vote. Do we open big box, tiny box, or try the shake? This feels so mukbangy. I honestly feel like I'm... Y'all some feeders. This feels like I'm inadvertently supporting a kink that I don't want to make into my livelihood. Y'all are trying to, y'all are trying to butter me up, gussy me up. All right, thick, everyone's saying the thick shake. All right, the thick shake it is. We got this premium handcrafted, let's read the description one more time. Sometimes when I was, um, when I was little, I would like to read the, dis this is so fucked up. This is really so much insight into my broken brain. But when I was little, I would like to read the description of the cereal on the side of the cereal box as I was eating the cereal to kind of maximize my enjoyment and really let that marketing <laughs> binging with Babylonia. That's a good joke, Jeff. 
Um, <laughs> I really let the marketing seep into all my pores and affect my enjoyment. So we're going to go back, just to bring the stream full circle, we're going to go back to the Domino's website here. And we're going to, we're going to fucking look at the, um, we're going to read the descriptions for everything we ordered. That, that includes, you're getting a lot of content here, so I hope your super chats were worth it. Because you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here. Um, let me turn the music down again a little bit more, because it's still kind of noisy. Okay. So, let, about this, <laughs> about this shake. About this thick, thick-ass shake. This shake here... Well, this is a thick shake vanilla chocolate crunch with cream. Now, this is a limited time only item. Next time I be in Japan, next time I be in Japan, they will not have this anymore. You can count on that. Um, so, let's see here. These shakes are the real deal. Handmade in store using just ice cream and milk. And, and, our, and our homies love, right? Tanahashi's love. Vanilla flavor with plenty of chocolate crunches topped with whipped cream. So chocolate, do you think it's like a cookies and cream thing or it's like a vanilla shake with bits of chocolate in it? Let's find out. Interesting. I would describe this as, this is really only helpful for the Americans and if you're American, you should be asleep right now. This is like if you got the cookies and cream milkshake at Chick-fil-A and made it worse. <laughs> like, the, the shake part is not bad. The cookie crumbles are very flavorless. Um, the, the ice cream part is good. But I see why this is a limited time item. All right. On to the next slice here. I'm just gonna pass out after the stream. I'm supposed to go out and do shit tonight, but like, if I eat all this fucking food, even if this is not a lot of food, it, it's gonna feel like it because the number of different flavors and experiences we're gonna have. All right, pizza menu. So what we, the one I tried first was just the classic margarita. Now we did cheddar blast the whole thing. What time is it there? It's 7.44 PM. We did cheddar blast the whole joint. So it's all gonna be kind of cheddar blasted. Please keep that in mind. Um. But, let me pull up the quattro here. So the quattro, the happy, was that, what's it called? Quattro happy? No, not quattro meat max, not quattro cheese roll, quattro too happy, quattro happy. All right, let's try the margarita next. So Domino's describes, Domino's Japan, I should say, describes their margarita pizza as it's really hard to find. Here we go. Freshly cherry tomato with basil topping. Let's get a good, let's tell a macro that shit, as Jeremy Thorne would say, as Nama Sensei would say. That right there is freshly, <laughs> Chrome Spirit, thank you for the super chat. Tanahashi san. Freshly cherry tomato with basil topping. Tell a macro that. That is, I mean, that's a, that's a lot of basil. You can see one little smushed cherry tomato right here. All right, Itadaki Moss. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Damn. I didn't even get to the cheddar blasted part. Maybe I don't need it. Um, that tastes delicious. I enjoy the taste of that. Woo! I gotta say, Tanahashi killed it on that one. That's good. That's a good pizza pie. The crust still tastes like Domino's crust. And you know, that could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you feel about Domino's, but that quadrant was, again, the margarita quadrant, freshly cherry tomato with basil topping. Mamma mia. 
that slice was four dollars and fifty cents. Your math is a little off because it, it wasn't it wasn't just thirty eight hundred yen for <laughs> the pizza. I also got all this other shit, but I appreciate the joke. <laughs> I mean, really, if I had gotten one of the more expensive pies, you can get a $40 8-inch pizza if you're really feeling crazy. All right. What's next? Do, 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 do. Open the big box, Nick, please, says the real Yamero. All right. Big box it is, y'all. We're going big box time, baby. Big box on the bed. Big box on the bed. Big box on the bed. Take one down. Pass. Here's a whole paragraph about whatever I'm about to eat. I don't know what it says, though. Come on, Fork. Come on, Forky. You little Toy Story 5-looking little bitch. Here we go. I got you. I got you, ho. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We are looking at what appear to be, on the on the strong insistence and in financial uh, in, investment of one commenter in particular. These are the f I don't even want these. I, I said this before. This is the fully loaded potato wedges. Um, let's let's I mean let's I mean let's let Domino's describe it. They'll know better than I would how to. Justify this mess. God, with this fluorescent lighting, it really just looks delicious. <laughs> it actually does look kind of good. You stare at it long. You guys all seem pretty into it. I'm pretty grossed out by it, and I'm sitting one foot from the bitch. But, okay. Freshly baked potato wedges. Oh, I forgot about all the shit that's in here. Freshly baked potato wedges smothered in spicy taco meat and cheddar cheese. I mean that is I mean that is fully loaded. There's little some there's some little green dots on there too, some type of maybe basil situation. I love how many people are like closeted mukbang heads that didn't know they had it in them and now after watching the stream they're all they're all going to watch mukbang from here on out. But not on my channel. That shit's good as hell. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I can't front. That shit was tasty as fuck. I was wrong. That shit is really yummy. <laughs> Holy shit. Did not see that coming. We got a we got an underdog. Not not totally unlike Tanahashi himself. We got an unexpected winner here. That's delicious. And honestly, oh, Chrome Spirit says give us some. Choto, choto mate. Let me give you a bite. Choto fucking mate here. <clears throat> here you go. Open up. Open up for daddy's vibrating potato. He's been drinking for 14 days straight, so he's got some shakes, but... <laughs> um. You know what else I'll say about that is, um, what else I'll say about that is that it's, it's not as, it doesn't make me feel as disgusting as I thought it was going to. I was really bracing myself for it to be a gross, heavy, um, <coughs> like overwhelming, you know, I was, you know what it was? I was thinking about what this would be in, in America, frankly, not to sound like a total weeaboo piece of shit about it, but like. This shit would be an ins just the idea of loaded potato wedges from from Domino's in America is just just that phrase gives me a stomachache just thinking about it. This is like pretty tame. It's real cheese. It's a little bit of ground beef, and it's some pretty thick cuts of potato. Not that crazy. Not very yabai at all. It's actually, it's actually slightly segoy. <coughs> That's really good, but we, that's enough of that. We got to save room. Um, 
one thing that I think about when I order delivery food. Uh, the tiny box has got to go at, we need a pizza break, because I think the tiny box is going to be a lot like the big box. Um, something I think about a lot when I get delivery food, especially in America, where the portion sizes are, like, so far beyond what a human being could eat. I think a lot about, like, I try to eat the things first that I think will keep the worst. Does that make sense? So, like, how do I put it? Like, like, pizza, you can reheat pretty easily, and it'll still be good tomorrow, depending on the topping. But, like, I don't think those potato wedges will keep necessarily... Oi, oi, oishi. I know oishi. I'm just goofing. I'm just telling a joke by saying some incorrect Japanese words. Um, so, like, I think pizza is pretty reheatable, inherently. But, like... Um... Milkshake, maybe not. <laughs> All right, on to the next slice here. I just need a separate Chrome tab that's just the Quattro Happy, because there's so much there's so much to to wrap my head around here. Frankly, anything potato is awful to reheat. That's good to know. I'm not a I'm generally not the super experienced with microwaving. So, um, bu -bu 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 -bu. okay, we're gonna go menu. We're gonna go pizza. I think the next slice, just to get it out of the way, is tropical. Now, Domino's Japan's, Domino's.jp describes this joint. Don't take my cheese off now. Look how it's pretty thick crust. I, it's it's almost too soft. I'll say that. Um, the crust I'm not actually that sold on, frankly. Okay. They call this. <laughs> Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! It says juicy and sour pineapple and roast ham makes a very happy couple. Cute, right? Cute and not noteworthy. Cute and, and not noteworthy. Looks perfect. I just noticed something that I don't think you guys can see. So we're going to we're gonna do a little makeup tutorial. Look at... Let's pull folks on my hand here. And ready for the reveal. Three, two, one, go. That's a piece of corn. There's a little piece of corn on my pizza pie. As a matter of fact, there's many pieces of corn on my pizza pie. Uh, and, that's, and that's one of the perils of eating food in Japan. Um, they, <laughs> they will put an egg somewhere surprising. They might put some corn somewhere that you might not expect it. So while they might describe the tropical pizza as juicy and sour pineapple and roast ham makes a very happy couple, you got little corn... How do you put it? <laughs> Italian viewers leave. You've got little corn uh, landmines that you're going to have to look out for. Now I'm going in. I'm not dodging these landmines. I'm... It's like that scene in that shitty sequel to The Kingsman where the guy steps on the landmine. I'm just going to stand right on this corn, and I'm going to take this bullet for the team. This is y'all's money. It's corn time, baby. This is the rough patch in, in me and Tanahashi's relationship. This is the middle act, act three of the movie, where we almost break up. Oh, Itadakimasu. Yeah, the Kingsman sequel was bad. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Big guy in the chat points out that normal pizza has cornstarch. True. And I think being squeamish about corn is probably pretty silly when the crust has, you know, powdered corn up in it. Um, honestly, I can, I can barely notice the corn. I think you could, if I'm being totally honest, and maybe this just means I have a, a not very refined palate... You could feed me that and tell me it was just Hawaiian pizza, and I might not notice the corn. If it was dark in here, I would never have known that I ate corn. Um, yeah, that's fine. Who gives a hell? Corn is not like a very super outstanding taste. Like, it's not... I'm not really ever going to be like, Ugh, corn! Unless you put it in cornbread. If you're putting chunks of corn in your cornbread... You're a fucking Yankee. In the South, we don't we don't abide that shit. 
But that's a texture problem, not a not a flavor problem. Luce says, what is cornbread if not corn and bread? Cornbread is made from like corn flour. So it should be smooth and bread-like all the way through. There's corn in it, but not like actual fucking chunks of corn. Like you Californians like to do it. Yeah, Yankees get out. You're not welcome here. <laughs> he says after living in California for eight consecutive years. Some people put corn directly in it. Like chunks of, like actual kernels of corn floating in the cornbread. It's psycho. You would get chased out of town where I'm from for doing that shit. Ninja Cell says, do you guys put giant chunks of wheat in normal bread? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. This is a no Yankee stream. Yankees, cover your eyes and ears. This is a country boy in Tokyo. Yeehaw. Uh-oh. The shopping channel has started again. They're trying to sell me a vacuum. I might have to change the channel. <laughs> I just sipped a thick shake. I gotta admit, it's growing on me a little bit. Cassie says, I'm genuinely in Texas, so I'm allowed to watch. All right, you can stay. Unless you're in Austin. Or any major, any major hub where the Yankees converge. All right, what's left? We've got the tiny box, and then we've got the bonus slice. Tiny box? I'm seeing a lot of, I'm seeing a lot of votes for tiny box. We're gonna have to go tiny box, y'all. It's time for the tiniest box. It's time for the tiniest box. What's in the box? What's in the box? But not like in the movie Seven. This is more of a fun, lighthearted pizza unboxing. Tiny box is dessert normally, I think, says Coco. Well, boy, do I have a surprise for you. Do 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 do. <laughs> Wait a fucking minute. You know what this is. You already know what it is, baby. You already know what it is, baby. We got the Japanese fried chicken. We got that karaage. We got that karaage chicken. That's a fatty, that's a fat chicken. That's a, that's a dark meat. Yeah, three bucks for four nuggets. Yeah, you know, when you, when you do the math, we're looking at, hold on, let me ask my friend. My, I have a friend who's really good at math. Hey Siri, what's 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 three divided? <laughs> it's zero point seven five. We're talking about seventy five cents a nugget here. Wait, is that right? Yeah, we're talking about seventy five cents a nugget here. That's that's I guess that's a pricey nugget. That's not I don't know. Well, I, yeah, I guess that is kind of expensive. You should probably be getting a whole chicken wing for that price, and not just this. Gentleman's nug. Um, Applebee's has 25 cent boneless wings right now. Yeah, but are they as good as this? Probably, <laughs> actually. These are okay. I think because I got to them so late, so late in the banquet of, of love, um, they probably were better hot. And in fact, I think these are the ones I had last time I had Domino's in Japan. And I remember them being pretty good and very fatty, but also extremely hot. So I didn't have to fucking talk over everything I ate that time. Um, I don't even know if I want it. I mean, these will keep well, right? I can have that when I stumble home drunk tonight. Um, whew, all right, we got one slice left, y'all. It's not actually over. How long have I been streaming? 97 minutes and counting. We're going to break 100. But y'all paid for my dinner, so it's the least I can do. 
It's like you took me on a date. You're paying, but I'm gonna entertain you for about an hour and a half before I leave, full and happy. <laughs> um, okay, precarious. Um, the last slice. Everyone's talking about the fish and chips. I just checked my receipt. It doesn't say nothing about no fish and chips. I think we just didn't order them, frankly. And honestly, all it would be is some fish that's fried to look like this and some wedges that have not been smothered. Some smotherless wedges, you know? So just imagine it in your mind's eye. Next, in 2020, when I come back to Japan, we'll, um, we'll fucking, we'll order the fish and chips. Is there corn in the thick shake? Not to my knowledge. There are chunks, but they're, they're a chocolatey chunk. They're a little less disgusting than that. Bro, wedges and chips are different. Well, whatever. That sounds like some Yankee bullshit to me, so you better check yourself. Okay. GPS driver tracker. Um, oh shit, we got a coupon for 30% off. My fish and chips next time. So the final slice, the one that we have yet to partake in, is my most anticipated slice by far. The Geno V's. V's nuts. Now, the Geno V's slice, we gotta move this tropical corn atrocity. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. This is the Geno V's. The Geno V's purports to be it's a rich basil based sauce smothered. There's that word again. Actually, let me, let me take it from the top. The Genovese is a rich basil-based sauce smothered... Fuck, I fucked it up. Fuck. Damn it. Shit. Fuck. A rich basil-based sauce smothers this pizza with garlic adding just the right amount of pizzazz. If you're in the mood for a more Italian flavor, this one's for you. Which, I mean, I, I suspect... I suspect you would be after that corn nightmare you just had to witness. You need something Italian to remind you what a fucking pizza is. I don't know what all's on this. I, I think I see potato. This pizza contains wheat, egg, milk, pork, and soybean. But I don't know what these things are. That looks like potato though, right? And then these, what are these darker little, whatever. Let's, that's the Jimmy's, man. That's the special, special sprinkles. All right, chotomate. Mm hmm. Ooh. Ooh, that's. I, I taste the pizzazz. Hmm. Hold on. That might. Ooh. That might not be the right amount of pizzazz. That might. Ew. That's the wrong amount of pizzazz. That is too much pizzazz. That tastes bad. <laughs> what the fuck? What part of that tastes so bad? I like garlic. Is it the base? Is it the rich basil-based sauce they smothered it in? This is the incorrect amount of of pizzazz. I don't think there's corn on this one. That is, I don't like that one. I might even throw that away. But the other ones were all pretty good. Um, fuck that though. That's not yummy. Wait, it's the corn? What are you guys talking about? Ain't no corn on the... Ain't no corn on it. I think there's just... It says there's... I don't think there's corn on it. Someone said, I saw pickles. Oh, the lack of corn. <laughs> Maybe. Um, Tanahashi, don't listen to him. Your pizzazz was perfect. Tanahashi, you can't win them all. Every relationship has road bumps. Um, that's gross. <laughs> What a, what a bummer to end it on. Try it with corn. I'm not trying that again. That tasted really bad tasting to me. The taste that it made in my mouth was an unfavorable taste and a poor flavor. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm, I'm, o, I'm OP. I'm over pizzazzed right now. I need to take a, I need, uh, what's the, I need the, um, 
I need the antidote to pizzazz. I need pizzazz methadone <laughs> to, to cure me after that pizzazz OD that I just experienced. I will say the thick shake is helping cure the... It's... The thick shake is, um... Is depizzazzing me uh, in, a, in, in quite an effective manner. Um, okay. Damn, that's... So that's interesting. So many of my predictions about what I liked here were would have been wrong, frankly. Like, I, the Genovese was what I was most excited for, which is why I saved it for last. It was not good. Conversely, the, um... The margarita pizza, which I thought was going to be very boring, was absolutely delicious. As a matter of fact, I might go back in. And, and it, I mean, obviously, the best example of all, you look no further than the smothered wedges, which, which were an absolute smash hit. Thank you to whoever told me to buy that. Your check is in the mail. You're, you're a scholarly individual. And a genius brain-wise, mentally speaking. Um... All right, it's running on empty. God, I hope I hope review bras well. All of our everyone should be wishing him well and praying for him, praying for a speedy recovery. Um, I gotta save some for Drunk Nick. Drunk Nick, I, you know what I need to do is throw this shit away, this bad pizza, so Drunk Nick doesn't try to eat that. Maybe I should save this for ah, but it's not gonna be as good cold though, is it? You might be right. Should I eat it or no? Well, you know what I need after <laughs> you know what I need after all that fucking pizza? I need a I need an electric toothbrush kit. Do you guys know where I can get one? Do you guys know where I can get it's only it's only $169. Think of how many smothered wedges I could buy with a with 16,000 yen. You fucking kidding me? Oh, wait a minute, but that's, that's, look at that. Getting all the Genevieve off my teeth or whatever. <laughs> look at that, that's the vibrations working. Getting all the plaque that you can't reach. Oh, don't turn it on. Oh, ew, ma'am. Ya yeah, bye. Fucking, this is some Abunai shit right here. This is some of the most Abunai shit I've ever seen in my life. Look at those little beads. I think her point was that it's more effective when you turn it on. Whereas if you just brush with a traditional brush, you're not going to get that kind of bead... That bead action. Oh, we get a little fucking cutscene here. <laughs> yeah, look at the depth. I mean, I don't know when you're brushing a body of water ever. Usually you're brushing a salt... Oh, God, the Genevieve. They, this is me. This is my mouth right now. This is what my mouth, this is what's gonna ha yeah, clean that shit off. This is what I'm about to do to my teeth as soon as the stream ends. I'm brushing these fuck my my clackers. Look at these whack ass traditional brushes. They don't do shit. You know that's a placebo effect. Alright, I gotta I gotta wrap this up. Oh shit, never mind. Survival horror, scary music. Dog show. Damn. Now this is now this is fucking pod racing, baby. This is good TV. I mean, how come we ain't got this 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 channel where I come from? They just live here together? Oh, oh. Wow. Uh-oh, Hiroki Saito's gonna fucking content ID my stream. I gotta change it. We can only listen to... Only listen to weather channel music. Oh no, they're gonna pour the lava in the anthill!
I want to see the ant hill. <laughs> I like his reaction. You gotta pour the lava in the. Alright, let's change the channel. What sport is this? I have my f I have a f I actually have a friend in Japan who really likes soccer. His name's Tanahashi, and I was asking him what his favorite team was, and he said soccer. Yokotane. What's the sport? Oh, is it table tennis? I think it might be table tennis. Damn, that's that's me. Brickomizer. Her name's Brickomizer. Damn, it's on every channel. You can't. I think sometimes I'll like change a channel and it won't change channels. I must be moving between like the HD and SD. Let's watch some commercials. This is the real shit. Cyber baby! <laughs> Use vats on your child! You got a 100% chance of hitting your baby in the head <laughs> with that pacifier. <laughs> baby vats. <laughs> That's right. Digital baby. That baby has a crazy hairline. Oh, he's got the boba. Choto, choto. They're pranking him. Damn, this is the most G-rated prank show I've ever seen. Kiss my feet, too, is what it says in the corner. Tomodachi. Yeah, we're cooking. Hey! What? <laughs> they made the round one fishing game into a Switch game? <laughs> what? Holy shit. I didn't know that that warranted that. Oh, and Tsum Tsum. It's a one-two punch of games that I walk past in the arcade. Tsumu Tsumu Festival. This channel sucks. All right. We're, we're nearing the two hour mark. I think it's probably time to wrap this up. I gotta go. Um. Just give me like one more, oh, the cat channel. I want one more commercial. Give me a commercial break. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, is this another prank? It's a fish made out of bread. Kurt, well, that's a fucked up Kermit. That's an illegal Kermit. That's an illegal Kermit. You can't just... Hey, I know this song. That's a that's a false Kermit. Just give me a commercial, please. There we go.
seven and I holdings. Damn, give that 7 Eleven Christmas feast. That's a diaper. Oh, she's having a great time pissing her pants in front of her daughter at the park. <laughs> Everyone's sitting around holding their pads. Just having a chill afternoon. Holy fuck! Damn, this is me. This is me when I go to Nakano Broadway. I bust out my fucking debit cards. I start buying Pokemon figures. It's over before it even began. <laughs> Got my Rakuten card going. I'm out here buying Pixel 4s and... Damn, he's really getting it. Beautiful Joe 3 looks good as fuck. Kyushu rent a car. That's AKB 48. They're getting crushed. It's like that scene in Star Wars. That's fucking Kyari Pamu Pamu. Saying Mota and I. She has a song called Motai Nightland that they were playing in the background. I don't really understand that either. Not really a sloth says, why does every ad have a miniature ad for the same thing right after it? Damn, he's chilling with his coffee on set. I don't care about that breadfish. Oh, no, he's undressed. Nakamura-san <laughs> I'm glad I'm doing this now, because I wanted to do a stream of just watching Japanese TV, but I think it it works better as a reward for everyone who sat through my pizza hijinks. <laughs> that, that head in the lower left corner is dumbass teeth. I know I need to brush my teeth after I eat the pizza. I'm going to do it. What is going on in Lava Town? This show is called Lava Town. Nande. Hey, what's he putting in there? Sorry, I need to know. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Let me see everyone's individual reaction. <laughs> This has got to be like a six camera shoot. If they have a camera trained on everyone's face. Come on. You see how it's easy to get accidentally get stuck watching Japanese TV for like hours? This song is everywhere in Japan right now. All right. I just want like one more commercial. <laughs> Dude and sound, I like that comment. Um, oh shit, it's fucking alive! Jesus. Holy fuck! No, 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 no. That's enough. Stream over. Too scary. 
to you bye. That shit's kawaii as hell. I'm sorry. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and leave a funny comment down below saying your favorite Japanese word. Uh, shouts out to Tana, Ta Tanahashi. Have a nice pizza. Talk to you later.